no settling down. My text go to the screen. You know better than that. I come around when you least expect me. I'm sitting at the bar when your class is empty. You thinking that the song's coming on and What's going on, Clan fam? Back at it again with some more NBA 2K23, my NBA eras. And in the last video, we won the NBA championship. Finally, after four years of hard work, blood, sweat, and tears, Michael Jordan and Akeem Olajuwon brought an NBA championship to Houston. Now let's see if we can win two, three, four. See how many we can win. Let's do this. Historic changes. Let's see what they are. Add Miami Heat as an expansion team. Add Charlotte Hornets as an expansion team. Change the number of officials to three. Warriors once again changing their logo, uniforms, and the floor. Houston needs to release at least one player for expansion teams. No, man, no. I don't want to release any of these guys. That's brutal. We just won an NBA championship. I'm not getting rid of Daryl Walker. I'm not. We need a point guard, and he is it. Dennis, I'm sorry, dude. You you did your job. We won an NBA championship. Time to move on. Damn! Hakeem Olajuwon is prepared to accept an offer from the Trailblazers. You will be given the opportunity to match the contract. Michael Jordan is prepared to accept an offer from the Lakers. You will be given the opportunity to match the contract. Yes, we're going to match both of those. So we got MJ for four years. We got Akeem for three. Sounds good to me. And we still got our, our core is still together. We just got to go out and get a power forward because we had to get rid of Dennis, unfortunately. We're going to go with Cliff Robinson just because he is a better system match. We, uh, we might have just improved. Yeah, we had to get rid of Dennis, but overall-wise, Cliff Robinson is the better player. Roster is looking solid. MJ's up to a 96, Akeem's up to a 94. Magic is still the number one player at a 97. Isaiah and Michael are both 96. Larry's still a 95, Akeem's 94. So we got two of the top five best players in the NBA. I'm not making any trades. We're, we're keeping this team together. This is gonna be the greatest team in NBA history. So the season is over and Michael Jordan for the second year in a row, wins the MVP, Danny Manning, Rookie of the Year with the Warriors. That does not look like Danny Manning at all. Doc Rivers, Sixth Man of the Year with the Heat. Kim Olajuwon, Defensive Player of the Year. Del Curry, Most Improved with the Hornets. Richard Terry, Coach of the Year. Ken Adams, once again, Executive of the Year. This dude is just a dominating force in the NBA. He can't be stopped. Both our guys make All-NBA First Team. Not surprised there. And they make all defensive first team as well. We are once again the one seed. And we're playing the Dallas Mavericks. NBA standings. Let's look at them. We finished 21 games ahead of second place. And five games ahead of the 76ers for the best record in the NBA. The Celtics are finally falling off. Finally. So are the Lakers. Good. Sick of seeing them. First round, we've got the Dallas Mavericks, and they have Blackman, Theus, Drew, Cartwright. So there's no reason this team should even win a game against us. And there we go. Also, just realize this. We got the Clippers and we got the Lakers playing each other, and the Clippers win. We should sweep this team, and we lose game one. Win game two, so... We lose game three, win game four, win game five, win game six. We are playing the Trailblazers. Miami Heat were a three seed. The Hornets were a seven seed. What is happening? The Blazers have Clyde, Herb Williams, and that is about it. There's no reason we should lose to this team. None. None. We're going to sweep them, ain't we? Let's go, man. Let's go. Playing the Sixers again. They probably have the same exact team as last year. Malone. They got Drazen Petrovic now. So they improved off of last year. All right, so game one, we win. Game two goes to them. Game three goes to us. Game four goes to us. Let's do SimCast again. Why not? Oh, boy. This is not good. They're putting it on us. 
Come on, boys. Come back. Down 10, down 9. Yeah, we're not winning that game. Well, crap. All right, we got a good... My God, dude. What is up with this SimCast? I hate it. SimCast sucks so bad. Bro. Game seven. Here we go. We are the home team, so we should win. Right? That's how it works. Damn, this is a close game. We're up five. All right, we're putting it on them. Ugh, and they come right back. They come storming back. All right, we're looking good now. We're looking really good right now. Oh, yeah. Let's do this, baby. Back-to-back -back NBA titles. is here and this place is going crazy the bench loves it the fans obviously overjoyed this is one of those moments these players will never forget so it's the exact same thing every time dude jumps on the scorers table guys shake hands slow motion of guys getting up off the bench and celebrating MJ once again holding that trophy up high. Finals MVP, back to back seasons. And now, now the question is do we get that three peat? Well, we're about to find out. The Magic are coming in. The Minnesota Timberwolves are coming in. Oh no, we gotta protect players again. Oh no. Oh, no, man, no. Oh, we got Cliff Robinson in the draft? I didn't even realize we had the 13th pick. Larry Bird is an unrestricted free agent. He's making $3 million, or he's wanting $3 million. That ain't happening, boss. Yeah, we lost a good point guard, but we got one in free agency anyways, one that's actually better overall, so that's fine. We got two Cliff Robinsons on our team. That's actually pretty sweet. You know what, we're gonna do this. There's only room for one Cliff Robinson on this team and it ain't you, buddy. We're gonna take Bill Cart right here. And there we go. MJ wins his third straight MVP award. Tim Hardaway, Rookie of the Year with the Pacers. Jamal Sloan, Sixth Man of the Year with the Pistons. Hakeem wins Defensive Player of the Year. Ross Strickland, Most Improved. Richard Terry, once again. We went 70 and 12. And we broke, at this time, the L.A. Lakers 69-13 and record, which was the all-time wins record at this point. So we have the new best season in NBA history. As long as we win the championship, this team right here will be the greatest in NBA history. If we win the championship, that remains to be seen. Still got a long way to go. Anything can happen. Let's uh, let's take a look at the standings. We are the number one seed, obviously. We won the West by 14 games. It wasn't even close. And we won the East by 12 games. So, or we we won we got the NBA's best record by 12 games. That's what I meant to say. All right. So game one, we win. We we should we should beat this team pretty easily. They win game three somehow, and we win game four. All right, so we got the Spurs. Let's see who they have. Patrick Ewing, Ed Pinckney, Kenny Smith. Is that Nick Anderson? Nick Anderson, Detlef Shrimp. Still, still, we should be able to beat these guys. All right. We're in the Western Conference Finals. 
and were play the Lakers were down 3-0 when they came back. How the hell did they do that? What? Magic Johnson, Larry Bird. Are you kidding me? They have Magic Johnson and Larry Bird on the same team. I guess they were just like, you know what? We're sick of losing. We're going to team up and we're going to make the finals. Wow. We win game one. I, we might be in trouble here. Win game two. Win game three. Oh, we're going to sweep them. We swept those old men. Get, get out of the NBA. Your old news. Your old news. The bird magic era. Get out of here. We got the Sixers for a third straight year. Are we going to beat them again? It's looking like it. Okay, well, another NBA championship. A three-peat for the Houston Rockets. I mean, no one really even put up a fight against us. And I've been thinking, too. I forgot to look at, like, see if there's a banner ceremony at the beginning of next season. So we're going to have to do that real quick. But a three-peat, three NBA titles in a row. I mean, there's not really there's not really a challenge from here on out. I mean, there's not really... I mean, what are we... What challenge is there? There isn't one. We've done everything there is to do. We've won three straight NBA championships. Mike, nothing quite like opening day in the NBA. All right, so no banner ceremony. And that's going to do it for me, for this episode anyways. Um, put in the comments what you guys want to see next. Do you want to see me keep going with the Rockets? Do you want me to try something else? Do you want me to start a new My NBA Eras and... Maybe try to build a team to take down the 90s Bulls. Do you want to see me try to keep Shaq and Kobe together? Do you want to see me try and keep Shaq and Penny together? Let me know. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new, and I will see you on another time. Peace. You fucker!